guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is october 27 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have a big breaking news red alert when it comes to nation against nation and it says here you got the supreme leader of persia he said his land won't back down holy land won't last long this is coming out from the Supreme Leader. We have more breaking news updates. You have South K Capital to brief NATO on North Korean troops in Ukraine. All right, so two very important breaking news. At the same time, I just posted a video not too long ago. Donald is sounding the alarm. He's saying if the VP wins November, our sons and daughters will be sent to fight these biblical wars. All right, so we are seeing nation against nation building up. North K, South K, you have uh, Holy Land, you have the Middle East. I mean, you have multiple countries right now. And yeah, we're just gonna see what's going on with these story. But before I start, let's go with the verse of the day. First Samuel, chapter 20, chapter 10, verse 27. Please share the video. But some troublemakers said, how can this fellow save us? They despised him and brought him no gifts. But Saul kept silent. Wow. They didn't respect him. They talked bad about him. But remember, God appoints leaders even till this day. God allow people to be in a spotlight. So at the very end, our job is to, pr uh, again, to pray for them, to pray that they repent and to seek God and Jesus. Some folks didn't want Saul to serve them as king because of his simple background and non aristocratic family history. So often we tend to do the same thing today, label people, and discount their ability to lead God's people or serve in God's kingdom because of their heritage or past. God, however, doesn't look at a person's pedigree. He searches their heart. So dear leader, please stick close to the Lord because you will be criticized. But please don't react to every little criticism or slight devote yourself to serving the Lord boldly. And to those of us called to follow God's leaders, let's refuse to dismiss someone as God's leader because she or he lacks some noble pedigree. Remember, the vast variety of people God used in the story we find in the Bible. Now trust that our God will be just as creative in his choice of people he wants to lead us in our day. Here's a prayer. Dear God, please forgive me for the times I doubted your selection of leaders. Please give me, along with the congregation, the ability to discern who your leaders are in our midst and not to judge them on surface issues. Please provide them with the courage to lead unselfishly and faithfully in Jesus' name, amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. I have to fix something really quick. Okay, please uh, make sure you share diverse with your families and friends and loved ones diverse will be in the comments box make sure you study it memorize it and uh we need to pray for our leaders we need to pray for our leaders too all right so let's see what's going on here we are seeing supreme leader of persia gotta pray for every leader around the world every single one of us need to pray for every single one of us period um, you know, everybody has the opportunity to repent for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting 
life. The supreme leader vowed Persia won't back down, claiming the Holy Land won't last long. All right. So speaking to tens of thousands in the capital, the supreme leader held. He held something very powerful, a G.U.N. during his sermon, calling recent missile strike on Holy Land the minimum punishment for what he deemed the Holy Land crimes and rallying support across the region for continued resistance. So the Supreme Leader is saying it ain't over. We not finished. And Holy Land will be gone. No. According to scriptures, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. But scripture does says that there will be a city that will be obliterated. A very important city. They call it the mystery of Babylon. Now, a lot of people believe that the mystery of Babylon is America. Remember, America is a country, not a city. Number two, a lot of people believe that New York is the mystery of Babylon. The mystery of Babylon speak about a city that many, many were persecuted. Many God's people. Jesus was not persecuted in New York City. Just saying. But uh, I do believe that there's a possibility that uh, the great city, the mystery of Babylon, could be Jerusalem, you know what? And uh, I can't say the full name because I got his suspended many times. So, I do believe that, uh, yeah, there's a possibility that uh, this great city, a city that's been around for thousands of years, many prophets walked in this uh, great city, and it's been around, it's older than our sleeping giant country. South K capital to brief NATO on North K troops in Crane. All right. So led by Deputy Director Hong, the team will discuss troop activities and possible support for Crane. South K may send a monetary team to Crane to study North K tactics and even consider direct arms support for Kiev. As the leader explores response responses to North K involvement in a conflict all right so we're gonna get to this story here all right so this is uh, very important here guys South K is gonna get involved they're not gonna send soldiers they will send um, give me a second a team out there that is going to keep their eye on North K all right they're gonna keep an eye on North K so a delegation of South K intelligence and Gov officials will visit Brussels this week to brief the North, again, NATO, on North K deployment of troops to the Bear Country, officials said Sunday. On Friday, the National Intelligence Service said a delegation led by First Deputy Director Hong will visit NATO headquarters Monday to brief the alliance on the deepening military ties between North K and the Bear. All right, so once again, guys, South K is gonna send a team. And they will send equipments. They will send equipment. From, uh, from what I heard, they're gonna support Crane. They're gonna send them some, I don't know, some long range, short range, they're gonna send something. NATO Secretary General, Mr. Mark, made a request for the dispatch of such a team, there you go, in phone calls with the leader, Yoon, last Monday. The move comes amid growing concerns over North K troops being soon deployed for combat in the Bear Country. Again, the Bear and Crane War. Following reports of them amassing in the Bear Southwestern Kursk region where a major Ukrainian incursion took place in August. Whoops, give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to pause the video and it's not allowing me to pause it. Uh, I'm trying not to get hit with a copyright too. South K delegation also composed of senior military officials and diplomats is expected to focus on North K troop activities and deployment in the Bear Country during this week talks. 
but they could also possibly discuss support measures for Kiev, such as sending a team of South K officials to Ukraine to monitor North K troops. Now it says here you have South K Capital is currently considering the option to study and analyze the tactic and military doctrine of North K soldiers. If sent, the monitoring team will likely be made up of intelligence officials and North K specialists from the spy agency and the military, and they could possibly participate in interrogations of capture North K. Mm. Officials specializing in psychological warfare could also possibly join the team to assist in efforts to call on North K to surrender. Wow. This is not going to uh, uh, be good news for Kim. Other support measures that could also be discussed this week include South K Capital provision of, here we go, weapons to the yellow and blue country. South K has so far provided humanitarian aid to Crane, opting against directly sending equipment. On Thursday, South K president said that his land could consider providing arms to Crane, depending on the extent of military cooperation between the Bear and North K. So last year or the year before, it seems like South K didn't want to stick their nose in that war. Now all of a sudden, they're sticking their nose because North K is out there. Mm. North K troop deployment to the Bear Country is also expected to be discussed when South K Defense Minister Kim travels to Washington for talks with his sleeping giant counterpart Lloyd on Wednesday. Wow. These nation against nations are building up really quick here. They're really building up and I want to show you something really quick. Now, uh, again, I don't know if this is 100% legit. But uh, you have a... Uh, where is it? North K General dissatisfied with the Bear Military Command. Now, what's going on there is that he's saying that, uh, hey, we have no equipment. you putting us in the same spot. I mean, we got nothing. So it seems like North K General is very furious. He's very upset with the Bear, with the Bear Country. And that kind of reminds me of, uh, oh, man. He passed away in a helicopter. Uh, again, he was one of the members of the, uh, oh, geez, I forget the name of the group. Um, they are like a private military company that uh, they were hired by Vladimir. Uh, well, their leader, uh, he, he was in a helicopter. Uh, that happened, I think, last year. But uh, he also said the same thing. He's like, you send us here, but we have no equipment. Why are you sending us here? Uh, I forget the name, but uh, he was very, very one of the top leaders, and everybody knew him. And now all of a sudden, his bird went down, and a lot of people blame Vladimir for it. Um, ah, here we go. Here we go. This is the one right here. He looks exactly like, okay, that's the person's name, complaining the same problem that how the bear defense official treat his troops. Exactly. Exactly 100%. You well deserve blue checked, someone said. This is the person here. I mean, when I watch the video, I'm like, why are people sharing that video from two years ago? And it's not him. It's North K General. It looks exactly like him. And it's the same story, so... All right, give me a second here, guys. I'm just going to refresh the page really quick. All 
All right, so it seems like this is all the information here. And I'm going to keep it updated when it comes to all this uh, nation against nation. Um, all right, so yeah, this is all of it. But uh, again, please share the video. Once again, South K is sending a team out there to Crane to keep, uh, keep an eye on North K soldiers. And at the same time, the Supreme Leader has put out a message today. And he was holding a G-U-N. And he was sending a message saying that Holy Land will not exist anymore. Canadian Prepper actually posted a video yesterday and he mentioned something that Persia is going to have some kind of nuke. And I do believe so. I agree 100%. Uh, they're going to have something. And uh, for the Supreme Leader to come out and say that Holy Land is not going to be no more, they have something under their sleeve. They have something. So, again, I will keep it updated with all these WW3 news. Again, please share the video. And make sure you check out the video I posted today. The links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Monday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.